Okay, so we're going to go back into SolidWorks here, and I'm just going to edit the sketch for this component, and we'll have a look at the sketching improvements. So I'll just start by deleting um, some entities out, like so. And the first improvement that I want to show you is uh, related to the ease in which we can add sketch relations. So I'm just going to create a tangent arc here, and I'm going to drop my tangent arc on this entity. Now, if you notice from the pop-up toolbar, I instantly get the option to add a tangent relation. In previous releases, I'd have had to uh, end my tool, pre-select the two lines that I wanted to create the tangency between, and then add the tangency relation. Similarly here, if I add a line, I'll just connect it to this line here. And as I release it, I get horizontal and vertical, which I would have got in previous releases, but I now got get collinear, perpendicular, parallel, and equals, all the relations that I could potentially create between the line that I've connected it to. So that's just speeding up the, uh, the process there. We'll go ahead and create a spline now. And again, I'll just come off tangent and then connect it to this edge here, like so. Now, if I wanted to create a tangent or curvature, uh, equal curvature relation between the two highlighted lines, uh, in previous releases, again, I would have had to select them both. Now what I can do is just select the common vertex between them and then choose from the available relations. So we'll have equal curvature there. Similarly here, if I want to make that line and that line perpendicular, all I need to do is select the common vertex. And lastly here, if I want to make this line and this line tangent, again, it's just the common vertex between them. So that speeds up um, your work quite significantly. Okay, now often when we're working in SolidWorks, we'll be working not normal to the, our sketch plane. We might be at an arbitrary angle to it, um, something like that. Um, now, I might want to take this line and make it horizontal or vertical, but unfortunately I don't know which direction horizontal and vertical is. So what you could find is that when you applied your relation, it was the wrong one and the sketch sort of inverted on itself. Now what we find is that when we select a line, and we look at the relation pop up, the, um, the one that it's nearest to uh, is highlighted um, on the screen. So we know that we can make that horizontal and we get the result that we're after. The next improvement that I want to show you relates to um, angular dimensions. So if we create a dimension between this angled line and the center line, we get our dimension shown there. Now if I hold the shift key, you'll see that that dimension doubles, giving us the overall angle of the countersink. We'll just make that 60 degrees. Now because I've, uh, I've selected a center line, when I come to create my next angle dimension, it remembers the center line selection, and again, I can just choose to double that like so. Another nice enhancement is with the line tool. We now have a new tool for creating lines called midpoint line. And as you would imagine, uh, when we click to start it, the line grows from the midpoint out equally either side and every line from the point onwards is just created as normal. We'll then launch our rectangle tool. And so in previous releases of SolidWorks, um, construction lines were only generated um, from the center rectangle and they went from corner to corner. What we now find is that you can create construction lines on any rectangle that you choose and you can have the construction lines going from corners or from midpoints. So if we do it from midpoints here, let's create our rectangle and we'll just add a couple of dimensions to constrain it. I'm just gonna attach the center point of that rectangle to the, uh, the angle cut out there. Um, when we uh, right clicked a line in previous releases of SolidWorks, we had the option to select chain and that would just select all the connected entities. Um, now, unfortunately, that um, functionality wasn't extended to center lines, but now it is. So I can right click on a center line, I can select the chain, and you'll see that I can grab that loop and I'm just going to turn that to solid line geometry, like so. Another really handy new tool within, uh, within the sketching environment is the segment tool. And what that allows us to do is take a line or a sketch entity and segment it into equal sections. So we'll just have a look at that. I'll go ahead and launch it. Um, so you select the line within this box here. 
you choose the amount of segments you want. So I'm going to go for six in this case. And we can either equispace points along that line or, as I said, split our sketch into different segments. So if we click on sketch segments and just press OK, you can see that we've got six different entities created from that one line now. If we look at the line and look at the relations, you can see it's got an equal and collinear relation applied to it. And from this point on, it just behaves like a normal sketch. So I can take those relations and delete them out without a problem. OK, we'll just exit the sketch here. And we'll look at this circle sketch here. OK, so we have a circle and this time I'm going to use the segment tool again. Um, this time I'm going to segment to eight sections and I'm going to place sketch points on my geometry. So as we press OK, uh, what we get is an underdefined sketch. And if we have a look at the relations inside the sketch, the only relations that are created between the points and the uh, circle are coincident relations. So it will require you to define them afterwards. Now I'm going to use the fully defined sketch tool to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to adjust the value here to give me uh, an angle which uh, conforms to my design intent, like so. So this tool I can see being useful for anything that requires a sketch point, i.e. Uh, the whole wizard tool or a sketch driven pattern. Okay, that brings us to the end of that. So if we switch back to this, the PowerPoint and just summarize, um, we see the improved ease at which we can create sketch relations. We can now create symmetric angular dimensions. We have a new midpoint point line tool. Um, we can show construction lines for all rectangles. Uh, we have a segment tool for sketch entities and we can select chain for construction elements. We'll move back to Ed now for patterns.